Hey hey guys, it's Barbana and I'm back with another tutorial and today we're going to be having a look at pulling things out from the background if we've accidentally merged them down or something or if we want to get brush textures out of a scan or something like that if we've like, you know, accidentally done something. So we're going to be using the brightness to opacity option and I just want to show you it in a couple of different cases. So I've brought up some sketches and some textures that I've got. Let's go and have a look at these birdies first. Now, if you look in the layer menu at the top, you should be able to see that I've got a yellow layer on the base so that we can see where the transparency is, and then also just the birds over the top. So this is pretty light in the background. This is like straight up white. You can see right in the corner there on the color wheel. So if I go to edit at the top, and then I come down to convert brightness to opacity here, I can do this. Give it a second and it will pull out all of that white for me. And then you can see where the yellow is showing the opacity. And if I take that off, this is now just kind of grayscale opacity like that all the way through. So we pulled those out pretty well. And that's an easy one because we just have everything kind of on a stark white background. And it's quite easy, so none of this is going to have anything in it where the white is. But what if we have something where we've drawn onto a grey background like this, and I have them separate right now, but what if I accidentally merge my sketches down like this, and then I can't pull them out? So if I go back up to edit, and then down to convert brightness to opacity again, you can see it's going to do it but it's not the same yellow. See, it's reading that gray background as having color there, so it's a bit more obvious. Maybe if I move it, it's reading that as well. So what do we do if we have that problem? Well, let's hit undo. The thing that I've covered in another video, which I'll put a link to at the end of this one, is we can do some edits to the values by going into Edit, since it's just on the one layer, we'll go Edit and then Tonal Correction. And then I'm going to go into Tone Curve here. Now it will come up with a little graph like this. Now this is showing where I have my values on it. So what I want is to, where I have the darkest ones, it wants to be very dark, like it is down here. See if I pull this down, everything becomes darker. If I pull this up here, all of this will become lighter. So you can see this big spike here, almost in the middle, which is where that gray in the back is. You can see that gray move just as I kind of wiggle this up and down. If I bring that all the way up and then have more of a kind of drop off here so it doesn't catch any of my lines there. I think I did those all in black or a darker gray. And then I'm going to hit OK. And then it should work. Again, go to edit and then convert brightness to opacity like this. And there we go. We've got a much nicer yellow there showing through. Let me see if it still works. It's still a tiny bit there. I reckon we could edit it a little bit more to sort that out. Let me see. If I eye drop this, yeah, it's still slightly down from where white is. So let's try another kind of editing. We can go to edit again. Total correction, and then we've got brightness and contrast right at the top first option. So I can bring the brightness up like this, up the contrast. Let's see if that's frying it too much. I did these with quite a sharp brush. Some of the ones at the top are having a little bit of a problem. Just tweak this around. Till I get it where I want it. I think that's a little bit closer. Let's try that now. Okay, now if I eye drop where that gray was, it's just a, like full white. So let's have another go. Edit again, convert brightness to opacity. And there we go. We've pulled them out now. There we go. No more gray background just my sketches. This will work a lot better with line art as well if you have it in a solid black color. 
but if it's not perfectly black on white, then you can always pull it out just with these little tricks. Let's try another one. Now that we've done those two, I'm gonna go and have a look at this one. Now, if you want a brush texture, you're gonna end up with something like this, especially if you're trying to make it with traditional textures that you've made on paper and scanned in or taken pictures of. Now, you can do those other edits as well, but this will be particularly good where we've got these bits that are kind of half opacity. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try it again. We'll go edit and convert brightness to opacity and see how this shows up. We've still got a little bit of that kind of grayness over the whole of it. So let's have a tweak of it again in the same kind of way. So like edit, tonal correction. Let's try brightness and contrast on this one first. I'm gonna up the brightness and up the contrast a bit. I don't wanna get rid of too much of these mid-tones because that's what's gonna soften a lot of this out. I'm gonna try and select a chunk of this in a second. But let's go for about here. I think that will do, okay. And then let's go and do the same again. Edit, convert brightness to opacity. And then move it around to see. Okay, that's looking a lot better. We just have the speckles now. So let's see if we can pull them out. Maybe just get a, a couple of little blobs for a texture. How about here? About this section here, that might do. And I'm not gonna go through making different brushes in the way that you would do that, but I'm just gonna show you the way that I've put this in as a brush texture and the different ways that I can use this now. And you should be able to see the opacity in these. And these are not the best brushes because I'm just testing it out and showing you guys what, what you can do with this once you've done it. I'm not gonna make this into making a brush tut tutorial, but that is something that this is useful for going and doing. Okay, so there we go. If I just take all of the yellow off on those, you should be able to see the opacity on them. We've successfully pulled them out from the backgrounds, yay. <laughs> okay, right, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. If it did, give us a like, share if you think it'll help someone else. Subscribe for new videos on Saturdays. I'll be setting up a Patreon soon. We'll do more of this kind of thing in a bit more detail. I'm currently working on some tutorials for that that I will be putting up kind of intermittently. I think there'll be some that I don't post on YouTube, just keep them for on there. But I will give you a link right now to my playlist of tutorials on YouTube. Lastly, I'll put a link to that tone curve video that goes into a bit more detail on that just for this kind of thing and also with editing things in general uh, and a few more videos. So for watching. Bye. -bye.